Before we go to the helical milling of holes, let's add a new tool. Let's add a 10 mm diameter end min. Select machine and define tool and choose flat end. OK. Enter 13 as tool number and as offset number. For length, enter 40 and diameter, enter 10. Spindle speed set to 3000 and fit 500. OK, let's add a simple holder. Click simulation button. And here select simple and length 60 and diameter 40. And OK. And save this tool as flat 10. And OK. Now let's select this tool. Machine tab select tool. OK, and select Rough or Finish operation. OK, in Types type select Vertical Insights section and selected in Geometry section. In the General tab in the Compensation select Tool Center and XY Corners select Stride. OK, in the Levels and Cuts tab Set safe rapid level to 25 mm, wrap it down to 5, material top 0 and final depth minus 11. Check the helical interpolation and the pitch parameter is activated. It means the pitch of the helix along the tool will go down. Enter here 3. OK and go to the machining data tab and enter minus 0.1 in stock to be left field and the minus allowance value means that we will gently undercut the material and the milled hole will be 0.2 mm larger. Okay. OK, let's set the lid in and lid out, select apply auto lid in out, select both in lid in, line length set to 0 0.2 and arc radius 0 0.1, copy these parameters to lid out and overlap set to 1. Click OK and select 4 circles with a diameter of 17 mm. OK. Accept the selection and we have now a helical link of these holes. OK. Select the rough or finish operation again. Leave the default parameters in the Types tab and in the General tab. In the Levels and Cuts tab change the final depth to minus 9 and Pitch set to. In the Machining Data tab leave the stock to be left minus 0 0.1 and lead in out the same as in the previous operation. Click OK and this time select 12 holes with a diameter of 15 mm. The holes were created as a group of holes so they will be selected all at once. Accept the selection and OK. We will use a flat 12R05 tool for finishing the large circle. So select this tool.
Okay. Select Raffor Finish Operation. Leave the default parameters in the Types tab. In the General tab, this time we will use Machine Compensation. And in the Levels and Cuts tab, change the final depth to minus 19 and pitch to 1. OK, set stock to be left 0 0.2. And thanks to the fact that we have turned on the compensation, the CNC operator on the machine will be able to adjust the whole size. We'll carry out the first machining with allowance. It will measure the dimension of the hole after machining and then enter the appropriate compensation value so as to obtain the hole dimension intolerance. And he will machine this hole again. In the lead in out tab, Let's change some parameters. Enter 2 for line length and enter 1 for arc radius and copy these parameters to lead out. OK, click OK and select the large circle and accept the selection. OK, let's hide some operations. OK. OK, show all operations and run a solid simulation. Okay, 